Do you know when you have those days where you just feel like giving up? <laughs> Today's one of those days. All right. Do you remember in the last video, right, I had all those problems with my microphone. All right. it, I threw it across the kitchen and I had to resort to the shotgun mic which sat on top of my camera. Well, guess what? That's broken as well. And <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right. I just, honestly, I mean, they say it comes in threes, don't they? Well, I've had to resort to using the onboard mic on my DSLR camera, which the quality isn't great, but that's all I've got at the minute. I have ordered a new mic though, which should come in the next couple of weeks. Right, it's coming from China, so it may take some time. Anyway, that's enough of that rubbish. Let's get on and talk about today's recipe. I thought today I'd do some halloumi and vegetable skewers. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be some halloumi on there, some courgettes, some red onion, some peppers, which we're gonna marinate in some lemon juice, some olive oil, some oregano, and some other bits and pieces as well. So again, following the usual drill, folks, if you hit that pause button, make a list of those ingredients, and we'll go and get stuck in. Right, the first thing we need to do is cut up this halloumi cheese. Now, the brilliant thing about halloumi cheese is it absorbs so much flavour. It's a really good carrier of flavours and it's a nice firm texture as well, which lends itself well for barbecues and of course what we're going to do today, grilling. Um, and it doesn't melt, so don't worry about that. So we just want to take it out of its packet and we want to cut it into nice thick cubes. So just cut it nice and evenly, kind of like that size really. And then just repeat that with the rest of the halloumi. And once you've chopped up all the halloumi, you just want to get it into a bowl. And the next thing we need to do is prep the veg. Now I've got a selection of different vegetables. I've got some pepper here, some red onion, I've got some courgette, and obviously we're gonna, you know, put all those onto the kebabs. So I'm just gonna take the top off this pepper, and then again, like I've shown you before, just cut around the lobes. So you're left with a nice core with all the seeds attached you can just get rid of it. And I want quite chunky bits of pepper, obviously, because they need to be quite substantial to hold up on the skewer. So just cut it into nice chunks like that. We'll get that into the bowl as well with the halloumi. Same with our red onion. We're just gonna take off the top and then peel it. And I'm just gonna take off the root. And again, you just wanna slice it so you've got nice thick chunks of onion. Okay, so you've got your onion, get that in the bowl as well. And now for the courgette. I think you call them zucchinis in the States. Uh, again, simple really. We're just going to cut these into discs. Quite thick, you know, maybe an inch, half an inch thick. And again, pop that in the bowl. Next, we're going to chop up this red chili. I don't know what happened to that. Looks like it's been in an accident. Off the end. Cut it down the middle. Get rid of some of those seeds. And I'm going to move over to a bigger knife and I'm going to chop this nice and finely. You want to get it as fine as you can really because if you have too big a chunks, it's just going to fall off. So you want it nice and fine so it can evenly spread all over the mixture. Okay, so once your chili is finely chopped, again, add that to the bowl. And then I'm going to roll this lemon. This just helps release the juice. And I probably want about half of this. And that, we'll use that for something else. Now you might be thinking, why the flipping hell has he cut the lemon like that? Well, the reason being is if you cut it lengthways, you get much more juice out of it. So we'll go in and squeeze that in. So into that mix then, I'm gonna go in with some pepper. Just a little bit, because I remember there's heat in that chili. Pinch of salt and some dried oregano. I would say about half a tablespoon. And then a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. Oh, again, I would say about tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Okay, and once you've added the olive oil, it's time to get your hands dirty and mix it all together. It smells amazing already. Now that mixture's ready to go as is, but I highly recommend you leave it for about an hour just so those flavors can get to know each other. So we'll stick it in the fridge and then we'll make the kebabs. Right then folks, those have been sitting in the fridge marinating for about an hour, so we'll get them out and we'll turn them into skewers. Right, okay, so we're gonna turn this mixture into our skewers, which couldn't be simpler really. I've got some metal kebab skewers here. You could use wooden ones. Um, just bear in mind that if you're using those, just to soak them in some water beforehand, because that'll stop them burning. But all I need to do is just slide on a piece of vegetable first. Um, I'm gonna use a bit of pepper. And then all you're gonna do is just alternate it, you know, with a bit of onion, perhaps a bit of courgette, a piece of halloumi. Okay, and then you just want to keep repeating that until all your kebabs are done. Right, okay, so I've made up the kebabs. As you can see, I've got five here. So now it's time to get cooking. 
Right, so I've preheated my grill nice and hot. Um, I was gonna put these in the griddle pan and do them that way, but I realized my griddle pan isn't actually that big and it can't really accommodate them, so I'm gonna do them under the grill instead. And the next thing we're gonna do is any leftover marinade, we're just gonna pour all the way over the top. And now these need to go under the grill. Now those puppies will take about 15 minutes under that hot grill. Uh, what you're looking for is basically until they look delicious. Um, but for one for a better word, you want nice charred gnarly bits on it. That cheese should be nice and golden brown as well. And obviously the peppers and the onion and the courgette should be nice and cooked through. So I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes and we'll have a taste. Hey, here we go then. They're ready. How good do they look? As you can see, they're nice and golden brown, nice charred bits. So they're ready, let's serve them up. Right, here we are then, folks. My halloumi and vegetable skewers are done. And all I did was just serve them up with some uh, pita bread. I just toted them off in the griddle pan and I made a quick uh, mint and yogurt uh, dressing, which is really simple. All it is is just some Greek yogurt, a bit of lemon juice, some salt, and then just a bunch of chopped up mint thrown in as well. Mix it all together and it's easy as that. Right, can't wait any longer, let's give it a taste. Right, so let's give it a taste. I'm just gonna put on some of this dressing and that's what it looks like. Let's give it a try. That's blooming marvelous. That halloumi cheese has got a nice little kind of squeak to it. It's got a very unique texture, but it's also quite salty as well, which is really nice. Those vegetables are still nice and crunchy and it's all finished off with that nice cooling mint yogurt dressing because that chili's quite fiery. Well, that was really delicious. Um, I hope I haven't got any yogurt around my mouth. No, it looks all right. Anyway, that about wraps up today, folks. So thanks again for tuning in and watching. Again, thank you for being patient with the audio problems and the microphone business. I really do appreciate your patience with that. Um, like I said, I have ordered one. I've got one on the way, but God knows when it's gonna turn up. Give this recipe a go, guys, and let me know in the comments what you think of it and also your suggestions. And I'll see you all next time for more tasty fun and frolics. And I'm off to finish this. Ta-ta for now.